Hello YouTube, this is part two of my uh, homemade canister filters that are good for pellet reactors, carbon reactors, and GFO reactors. Today we're going to change out the carbon and the GFO in my reactors. Uh, I wanted to give you a hint on where I get my carbon dirt cheap. This is a five gallon bucket of Kent reef carbon that you buy at your local reef store. If you buy a container about that size right there from your local reef store, it'll cost you about 30 bucks. Now that sounds like a lot of money, but it's much better than the stuff you buy at Petco or PetSmart for $10 for the same amount. It lasts three times as long and it's very clean, no dust. And the particles are much, uh, the pieces are much harder and more uniform um, and there's more surface area per piece. I recommend that you don't cheap on the carbon. Now how I get this carbon, it is the reef carbon I just talked about, but if you get uh, a relationship with your local shop that carries Kent products, you can ask them to buy you a box of carbon uh, that's two foot by two foot um, by two foot cube. And in that box is enough carbon to fill three five gallon buckets. Uh, my local shop, when they order it for me, it's like once every three or four years, charges me around $160 for that box of carbon. Now, that's a little bit more than they get it for, but they're happy to do it because they make some profit off of it, and they don't put it in the shelf, and it's, it's a sale that they wouldn't have made otherwise. Um, but even if your shop charged you more, uh, let's say they charged you $240 for that order, that's enough to fill three five-gallon buckets. There's approximately 80 cups of carbon in a bucket. That's 200 and 40 cups of carbon, and if they charge you the $240, which is inflated compared to what I pay, that would, that comes out to a dollar a cup, much less than you can buy it at the local pet store, um, even the cheap stuff at home uh, at uh, Petco or PetSmart or anything like that. Another place to get good quality carbon is Bulk Reef Supply. I just happen to choose the Kent product because I think it's a little bit better than the low-end bulk reef supply product, although uh, bulk reef supply does carry a uh, premium product that uh, comes out to still about a buck a, buck a cup. Um, I store it in the five-gallon buckets. Uh, these are a salt bucket because um, carbon, if you leave it out in, in, the, in the box bag thing that the Kent comes in, over time the carbon will absorb chemicals and odors from the atmosphere and use up the usability of the carbon. So you gotta keep it in a, a sealed container, which is why I put it in the five gallon buckets. And then I stack the five gallon buckets on top of each other. So the weight of the buckets on top uh, hold the lid down and make it even a, a better seal. Um, this is my carbon reactor. I've already taken the uh, canisters off. You first gotta shut the valve off, of course. Um, the GFO canisters I've left intact so we can take a video of that. Um, I'm going to hand the camera off to my producer. Uh, these wrenches you can get from uh, the filter guys or bulk resupply or local, local plumbing store. They cost a dollar. Um, on here is a direction that says uh, close or open. It doesn't matter which way you stick it on. Just follow direction. Uh, that says to close it, so we're going to pull. I've already shut the valve off on this. Uh, we're going to pull it uh, to open. Now expect some water to come out of this, which is why I have a towel here. Um, if your plumbing piece on the opposite end is below water level, lift up on this while you do it. Expect about a cup of water or so to fall out of the reactor. Now I have a bucket here. Let's 
put it down in the bucket. Now this is a, a, a refill of carbon that I've already uh, filled up with the Kent carbon and rinsed in the sink. The better the carbon, the uh, faster it will rinse clean. It only takes maybe 30 seconds to rinse this. The cheap stuff at uh, Petco, even their premium product that they carry, takes a good four or five minutes to uh, rinse off, so uh, to get clear. So uh, just keep that in mind. That's a sign that the product is not very good. Now we take the canister that I removed from here and we stick it down in there. Last one I didn't fill the sink just so I could show you how it's done. These hold approximately three cups of carbon. And you can see there is some dust here, and that, that's just unavoidable, but that rinse is pretty clear. Now if I was doing this to the sink, I would uh, run it, run some water through it, but that's not necessary. Put this down in the canister. Hand tight. Bring this off to the towel over. Follow the directions, just a little bit of torque. Now, if you didn't rinse the carbon at the sink, simply take a sock that you have laying around the house, stick it over the return, turn your valve on. The canister will fill up from the outside of the canister and then go up to the carbon, spill over, same process. Carbon should run at about 100 gallons per hour. Uh, no more, you don't want to fly in through there, 100 gallons per hour. And that's a little difficult to, to guesstimate on uh, what that is. Now the sock is just there for a few minutes to collect the, the particles of the dust so I don't get them in my sump. Now after I get the, the water flowing through the canister, I then back it down until I see the water going through but just barely. And there we go. That's the process of changing out your carbon or your GFO in your reactors that I showed you how, how to set up.